when did we first meet? Well, uh, we worked the G500 program for Gulfstream down in Savannah. The way we met is he gave me a challenge. He gave me coordinates. He didn't give me an address. He said, I've already scouted this out. You think you can uh, meet me at coordinates? Knowing uh, fully well that I, I did navigation in the Air Force. And he, he challenged me day one. And he's been challenging me ever since. But what he didn't tell you was, we went to the wrong location. I scouted the wrong location. So we started out being late to orientation because I took us the wrong location. Yeah, that's pretty much the way it's been ever since. That's how it's been. <laughs> From day one, I was in aviation. Uh, my father was a crew chief in the Air Force, and he kind of gave me that interest, and it just took off. You know, of course, I, I went into engineering, aerospace engineering at Georgia Tech, uh, got a bachelor's degree, went into the Air Force from there, was uh, very fortunate to, to get to go into fighter aviation where I flew the F-4 as my first fighter aircraft and later transitioned to the F-15, AKA the machine of justice, um, and spent most of my career there doing that. Very fortunate to have multiple aircraft under my belt, which afforded me the opportunity to go to test pilot school back in 97. The United States Air Force Test Pilot School, clearly the world's best test pilot school. And from there, um, you know, always interested in aviation and space. So uh, I did spend five years at SpaceX. I spent a couple years at Blue Origin, a year at Relativity, launching the first 3D printed uh, rocket, and really wanted a high-speed challenge. And Hermes is that high-speed challenge that I gravitated to very quickly. And here I am. So I grew up in Texas, a little small town on the outskirts of Austin. There used to be an Air Force base there called Bergstrom Air Force Base. Liked watching the jets fly and everything, but I grew up around horses and I figured, I want to be a vet. I don't want to be anything else other than a vet. And my mom and I are out riding horses one day in the pasture and two F4 Phantoms come screaming overhead at the speed of the heat and I get thrown off my horse. I'm laying on my back. My mom comes over and says, are you okay? And I'm laughing going, that was awesome. And she's like, well, yeah, well, you're not going veterinary medicine. You're going to be aerospace engineer. We yeah, ended up going uh, to do a uh, Navy flight test at Patuxent River uh, Naval Air Station in Maryland. Got a chance to go through the world's best test pilot school, Navy test pilot school there. And uh, graduated, did a couple of stints throughout the, the Navy on doing uh, tactical aircraft and uh, commercial derivative aircraft. Came back to the Navy TPS as an instructor, loved it. And then ultimately uh, departed ways with government service and ended up at Gulfstream where we met. And ever since then, we've kind of done this with our careers. We sync back up and we we're both at SpaceX for a time. We sync back up most recently at uh, Relativity Space. And of course, he's like, hey, you should uh, take a look at Hermes and see what you think. And here we are. I was telling folks like, I'm leaving the vertical flight test world and going back into horizontal flight test just at high speeds and high altitudes. Yeah, it's, it's a tough problem. And that's, what, that's why we're drawn to it. Uh, if it was easy, anybody be doing it. But it's because that's it's true. hard that we want to go after and, and try. And I think we're at that point with technology uh, and drive and necessity that make going hypersonic speeds, uh, we can make them a reality. Uh, we almost have to, it's imperative, we make it a reality. Agreed. When uh, Crash told me, hey, uh, take a look at, at Hermia, and see what they're doing, I started looking at the websites, looking at all the social media, and I instantly, something back in my mind clicked and said, this is where you need to go, this is where you need to be, back in the hypersonics world, doing that cutting edge, leading great teams, getting that technology out in the forefront where it needs to be. I want confident humility is what I want in a uh, test team member. I want somebody who's really curious. I'm confident in my ability because uh, I've, uh, I've got the education. Uh, I know who I am, but at the same time is humble enough to realize they don't know everything because we are going to a place that is going to require humility. We are gonna make mistakes. We are going to have failures. Again, it's how you react to that failure and go forward. Right.